Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video with Kingdom Motherhood. My channel is all about sharing my faith and motherhood. And today's video is a little bit different. I'm not going to do the regular things that I normally do with like my intro or whatever. And then, you know, all that fun stuff I like to add. <laughs> I am going to be sharing something that I experienced about a couple weeks ago that seriously rocked my world. And I've been praying a lot about whether or not I'm supposed to share it because sometimes when the Lord gives me things, I'm supposed to keep it to myself. Sometimes I'm supposed to share it. And I really feel like this platform, YouTube, even though I'm just starting out, I really feel like the Lord wants me to dedicate as much as I can, um, as much as as much as he wants to whatever he wants me to talk about on the channel. And so you guys already know if you watch my stuff, I do a lot of motherhood stuff, but my biggest priority, the most important thing to me, if you don't already know, is my faith and following Jesus and having a strong relationship with him. So with that being said, I had, like I said, an amazing encounter with the Lord. It was truly just amazing. And so I just want to tell you guys about it and I hope it encourages you guys. And then like I do at the end of all my videos, I'll be praying for you guys at the end. So if you need encouragement or anything like that, I would love to pray for you. So stay in, or you can skip the video if you don't even want to hear about what happened, but you can go to the end. <laughs> I'd love to pray for you and drop it in the comments if you need prayer too. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So I have a lot of dreams from the Lord. The Lord is always giving me dreams. A lot of times I am seeing things in the spiritual realm, things that are from heaven. Um, I've seen angels before. On the flip side as well, the devil really likes to attack me in dreams with nightmares and things like that. And I have seen a lot of that stuff too. And so I do want to say even before I continue, if you experience that, if you experience um, that similar, you know, you're getting a lot of nightmares, you're feeling, you know, fear and all of that at night. One of the things that I've realized is almost everyone I've met, if not everyone that I've met and talked to that has this happening to them, it's actually because there's a really cool gifting that God wants to impart to you. So I'm going to talk about that at the end. But with that being said, so I get a lot of dreams from the Lord and I'm always praying the Lord would give me a dream before I go to bed, but this time it was different than any dream I've ever had before and that's because I got to see Jesus. And I've never seen him before. I, Like I said, I've had angelic visitations and things like that, but I've never seen Jesus. That obviously trumps it all. <laughs> so. My husband actually told me after I woke up the next day, he said that I was smiling in my sleep, which for me that was cool because I was like, okay, just confirmation again. So kind of, this is what happened. So I went to bed like I always do, prayed that the Lord would give me a dream. And the, in the dream, I wasn't myself. I was somebody else, I was a girl. And I was watching her life, I was watching her daily life, like from start to finish. And the one thing I took away from her life was that she was honoring God with everything that she did. Like every single thing that she did was like, she was seeking out the Lord, it pleased God, everything she did, even to the very end of the day, which I thought was kind of funny because I like to chill out at home uh, and watch TV at the end of the night. I'm a big reality TV person, which is not like, I'm not, I'm not a reality TV person. You guys get what I mean. I like reality TV, <laughs> so I'd be careful. But even like the shows that she was watching um, were honoring the Lord. I thought that was so cool. And and I, I really struggle, I've really been struggling to just being honest with you guys. And I think that's why the Lord gave me this dream, just really, incorporating the Lord in everything that I do. And so she really honored God. Like it was very evident. And I thought that was so amazing. And then she went and she went out for a walk with somebody, I don't know who it was. And then I all of a sudden was in the perspective of Jesus. I was coming down to come get her because her life was over. And then they like were pointing out, they're like, look, there's Jesus. And before I continue, if you guys know anything about like Christianity and faith or whatever, uh, this was not the rapture. <laughs> the rapture, if you don't know what that is, is at the end of times, the Lord, hopefully everybody is, is hoping and praying. Jesus tells us to pray that he'll take the church up and hopefully that's before the tribulation, but nothing is definitive and it's all up for interpretation. But no, it wasn't the rapture and this is not one of those rapture dreams. In fact, I think the opposite that the rapture is happening. I believe there's a great revival coming and so anyway I'll pray for that at the end too so Jesus was coming down and he was getting her it was the end of her life and she was young it wasn't me though I know that it wasn't like the Lord telling me this was me and I'm going to heaven soon but she so Jesus came down and then all of a sudden I was in the perspective of the friend because she was with a friend and he had like a sword in his hand which I know again sounds rapturous but no it wasn't it was like protection and I he came down and I looked and I saw his face and 
the first thing I thought when I saw his face, because I haven't seen it before, I thought, man, that looks nothing like what I've heard or seen. Jesus' face, because I just want to explain it to you guys really quick. Um, he had long hair. He wasn't super tall, but his face was so strong, like his bone structure. I don't know how to explain it other than like, it was like a wide bone structure. Like he looked like, I remember looking at his face and thinking strength. That's what I thought. I thought strong. I thought strength. And there was no other way for me to describe it. As I've talked to um, my husband about it, I've talked to friends, like that's the only way I can describe his face. It was strong. It was incredible. And then, um, so she ended up going to Jesus, hugging him. And she was like bawling, of course, right? You like when we all get to heaven one day, like we're going to be overwhelmed. And I remember thinking like, <laughs> cause I'm a little like sarcastic and kind of, you know, whatever. So I remember thinking like, I'm not, I'm not going to cry cause I'm so happy to see you, Jesus. <laughs> and so Jesus like laughed at me. He was like, it was like, it like made him happy, but like it pleased him that I said that. Not that like it's bad to cry, but I was like so happy. And then like the coolest thing, probably the, one of the coolest things about the encounter was he touched me and I, I still, I still feel what that was like, you guys. Like, it was the most joy that I've ever experienced in my life. I, I think this is when my husband saw me smiling because this was the most joy I had ever experienced in my life. Like, even just thinking about it, I just feel the joy of the Lord. Like, I felt like in that moment, I understood what the joy of the Lord was like. And there's nothing like it. And you don't want to be away from it either. And so, you know, I... I don't think I have to talk up heaven. You guys know how amazing heaven is gonna be and, and really we can't even comprehend, but just alone having the fullness of joy of the Lord was absolutely incredible. And it was so amazing and he just looked at me and he smiled and filling me with this joy and I was overwhelmed. And then now it was her time to go. Now she was leaving and she was going up to heaven and I was then in her perspective. And there is truly nothing like what I experienced from her perspective because the reality is is what she experiences what all of us are gonna experience one day so I literally was in her mind and she was going well my life is over everything is over and she's looking down at her friend she's like that relationship I mean it's gonna continue in heaven hopefully but that relationship that I cared about everything everything I cared about my work my life everything it's over it's done I'm going to heaven I'm with Jesus everything is over everything is done like there's, I don't even know how to explain because it was so real. I felt like I was hurt. I felt like my life had ended and there's really truly nothing to explain how that feels. And one day we all will encounter that. One day we're all going to be going to heaven. Hopefully we're all going to be going to heaven. I pray that you will. I pray that you accept Jesus, but we'll all be going there and we're going to be looking back at our life. Even, even if you don't believe in Jesus and you're going to be going, oh my word, it's over. Everything I cared about, everything I cared about is over. And so she was taken up to heaven. And then I woke up from the dream and just felt the strong presence of the Lord and the anointing of the Lord, everything. I just felt so strong. Now the image of him has been etched in my brain. Like I can't get it out. I just can't. Like I could, I wish I could paint. I wish I could draw. I can't though. So like, it's going to look like a stick figure if I tried it. <laughs> so sorry guys. I'd love to show you guys. Um, you guys will see one day, hopefully. And, um, but, you know, I've been praying and I've been thinking about it. I'm like, what were you trying to show me in this dream? Obviously, other than just the fact that I got to see Jesus and the fullness of joy. And this is why I feel that the Lord is wanting me to share this video with you guys. And so here we are. And I know, like, I explained that really quickly, but this is really where I want us to land. Like I said, there is nothing like that experience where I felt like my life was over. And I feel like the Lord is reminding me and reminding us, reminding all of us, that everything that we're working hard for, literally everything, think about everything in your life that you're working hard for, whether it's your parenting, right? Cause I just had a baby, parenting, whether it's like your job, your career, whether it's, I don't know, maybe you're also on YouTube here. You're doing YouTube. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what the Lord has for you. It's not that it doesn't matter, but it's, it's literally like, it's going to go away. We have to understand that. And that's really the essence of this video. We have to understand that. And I feel so strongly that the Lord is just calling us out to remember that our life here on earth, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes, it's a, it's a weird book name. <laughs> Ecclesiastes says our life is like a chasing of the wind. It's here and then it's gone. We have to remember that, you guys, and that's something that the Lord is reminding me too. I'm, I'm speaking, I'm preaching to the choir here, <laughs> but our life is over. 
and done in the split second and everything that she had worked for in her life, even though it was honoring God, it was over, it was done. And I'm not saying that we don't strive to honor God. We don't strive to follow the spirit in everything that we do. Obviously, that's what we want. That's how we live a a fulfilled life. (laughs) But you guys, like our life one day, we'll have that experience and it will be gone. And so right now I'm gonna be praying for you guys and I just wanna call If you're watching this and you've strayed from the Lord or you don't know Jesus, first, I just want to say, if you don't know Jesus, you're seriously missing out. Like seriously, there's nothing better and greater and more fulfilling in my life and and, and anybody that I know that knows Jesus other than our relationship with him. Knowing Jesus is truly the greatest gift that we get on this earth. That is the greatest gift. Jesus came down from heaven to be a man and to die for us. If you don't think I, If you you don't think I don't need anyone to die for me, guys, listen, we all are sinful. We all are sinful. We all fall short of the glory of God. We all have messed up lives, messed up thoughts. We think about ourselves first. Talk about thinking about ourselves first. Our culture is obsessed with ourselves. We're obsessed with self-acceptance, self-whatever, like self-care, everything. Everything is about ourself. And what it needs to be about, guys, is Jesus. And I'm telling you, if the Bible says, if you seek him out, you will find him. If you seek him with your whole heart, you will find him. Jesus says, knock. the door will open to you. So if you don't know what to do, just wherever you are, pray with me here, pray with me here, and then just seek out the Lord in your life. Open a Bible, like get into the word and start seeking out, go to church, get around people who know Jesus, who can help you along this journey. And then if you are somebody who's straight away and and you're thinking, man, like my life right now, it's not eternal focused. Like I, if I died, like I can't say that my life is following Christ all throughout the day. And hey, listen, I've, I've been there. I am there. Like we're all trying to figure this thing out. Right. (laughs) But like, if that's where you're at, let's repent together. Let's repent and get our focus back on Jesus. Get our focus back on eternity. Because if our mindset is on eternity, if we're, if our, if everything that we're doing is on eternity, not only will it bless everybody around us, not only will we be walking in the spirit, but if our mindset is on eternity, then we truly are understanding what it lives to, to, what it means to live a fulfilled life in Christ, in Jesus, because our mind is on what actually matters because eternity is eternal. (laughs) Our life, maybe 70, 80 years, who knows, right? Could be short, could be long. It's quick, you guys. It's quick. That was what I realized with her life. It was quick and she wasn't expecting it. She was young, right? Could be you. I'm not saying like you're going to die. Don't get me wrong, but like it it could be you. And so I just wanted to make this video and remind us, remind myself today that our life is a chasing of the wind. Our life is over in a second. And everything you strive for, I'm gonna say it one more time, everything you strive for, it won't matter when you're on your way to heaven, it won't matter when you're in heaven. All that will matter is how you lived your life for Christ here on earth. If you were seeking him and everything that you were doing, that's the treasure that you're holding in heaven. That's what matters, you guys. And so now I wanna pray for you guys and I just thank you guys for tuning into this video. I really want it to bless people and I hope that my little testimony here will. I had mentioned earlier at the beginning that if you experience like nightmares or anything like that, the gifting I am talking about is the gift to be able to see and discern spirits. It's it's in the Bible. It's a gift in the Bible. It's really, really cool. And if you have that, there's probably a prophetic anointing. Pro- pro- prophetic prophecy is when the Lord speaks to somebody and then they say what he says. And so a lot of times the Lord gives me visions or dreams for people so that I can go and either talk to them about it or pray for them about it. A lot of it is prayer. And so if that's you, I want to I want to pray for that gifting too and just pray for protection because the devil loves to, to bring fear where the Lord wants to call it a gift. So that's what he does all the time. He's not creative at all. <laughs> He's just not. So I want to pray for that. I want to pray for you guys. And so if you haven't prayed in a while, guys, join me in this prayer. Join me in this prayer and let's repent together. Let's repent together. And so I'm going to pray this prayer of repentance with you guys. And then I'm going to pray really quickly for you that are struggling with fear and just speak life over you and speak joy over you, the joy of the spirit. And so let's pray together as I close out the video. So I just want you guys to repeat this prayer after me if, uh, if you want to repent like I do. <laughs> so always repenting, right? It's a continual thing. We're always sinning. So Lord God, I just thank you for Jesus and for dying on the cross for our sins. And I just thank you, God, for everything that you've given us, God, by your spirit. 
I thank you for everything you've done for me and for every person listening, God. And Lord, right now, I know that in my life, God, Lord, that I have been seeking out things that are not eternally focused, God. I've been seeking out things that don't matter, that don't hold any weight in heaven. And so right now, God, I repent. I repent from everything, God, that I've been seeking. I pray that my heart would be focused on eternity and that my treasure would be laid up in heaven and not on earth. God, thank you for visiting me. Thank you, Jesus, for filling me. I repent in Jesus' name. And right now, I want to pray for the people who are listening, God, who are struggling with nightmares, who are struggling with fear. The devil is is trying to steal a gifting. Right now, in Jesus' name, I rebuke you, devil. If they can hear my voice, I rebuke you. And I send you to the pits of hell where you cannot return. No more can you steal this person's gift. You will not bring fear in Jesus' name. I proclaim it right now. I speak life over them at night. I speak protection over them at night. And I also ask God for a desire and a hunger in them to seek you out and this gifting of the prophetic and this gifting of the spiritual realm, God, as it's such a mystery. It's something that, God, we can't really truly understand on this side of eternity. God, I just pray that you would open their eyes to see, open their ears to hear, and God, not just the giftings, but just to truly know you. If there's anyone here that's still listening to this prayer, God, I pray, Jesus, that your Holy Spirit would touch them right now, God. Would they be filled with the love of God right now, the joy the same joy that you filled me with, Lord. I pray that over them right now, Jesus, that they would experience the joy of who you are so that they would know that nothing else matters but you, God. Would that be the desire of their heart? Nothing else matters besides you, Jesus. God, I pray that over them right now, God. I speak, God, just clarity of mind that they would see you and you alone above everything else in their life, God. Would your presence touch them right now where they're at through this random YouTube video, God. God, I pray that over them right now. And would they return back to you if they strayed away in Jesus name? Would they be like the prodigal son coming back, God, and grabbing a hold of you, Lord, and never letting go? I declare that over them in Jesus name, that they would find you again, Lord. We thank you for everything you've done, all of your sacrifice for us, God, in Jesus name. Amen. I know this video is long and I really appreciate you guys watching it. And I know, again, it's a little different than what I normally do, but man, it was so cool. And I just love the Lord. So I pray you guys have a blessed day.